So we're going to need a virtual machine, right? So we can always come over here into like the virtual machines and we could click add, we could go to virtual machines. And then from here we could create which type of like server we wanted to use, what image uh, we want to start with, but there is a better way and a faster way. And so that is market place. So inside of the marketplace here, there is open VPN. So open VPN, and we're going to hit, uh, do a search here on this. And so now we see we've got open VPN access server. Again, this is a paid option, but we're going to use the free option and it has a couple of different things. So here it's saying, Hey, bring your own license. Uh, what we're going to do, and it is actually two concurrent uh, connections. I was right about that part of it. We're going to go deploy here. So what this is going to do for us is it's going to go ahead and create that virtual machine that we need with all of the open VPN stuff completely built into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a resource group and you can think of a resource group as like a logical kind of like container. And we're just going to name this. Yeah, just VPN. And I'm going to hit okay here and we're going to go, I'll just do MB crump and I'll go VPN. And where do I want to store this? So I actually live in Washington state. We're going to go to West us and I'll just pick the, that option West us two um, availability options. We don't need any of this for the image. Uh, we're just going to use the open VPN, which should be the latest one, 2.85. And here is where it has different sizes. We can go to the sizes here. I just wanted to show you some of the, the cost. I think that we can get it down to. So we're not going to use anything here in the uh, most used. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the B series. So uh, B series, uh, these are like basic workloads. When you're running one of these VPN servers, it really doesn't need very much support. So I could run this for fairly cheap like three, three bucks and 80 cents. Oh, and I'm going to use the B one S and we're going to hit select there. And finally, uh, we're going to use SSH to get in there, go in to generate a new key pair, the key pair name. That's fun. We'll just leave it as the default. We're going to go disc for the next step. Uh, we're going to leave all of this pretty much, um, at the default next, we're going to just, uh, complete all of these. So we're going to skip the rest of these and just go to review and create. We go create. All right, so we're almost here. So let's click this to download a private key and create a resource. This key is what we're going to use. And we'll, let's go into our downloads here, LSL. Okay, so it's this one right here, mbcrompvpn underscore key dot pm, P -E -M. So your deployment is complete. All right, so let's go to that resource. Wonderful. So here we are. We are in the VPN. And I think to start with here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the connect button. I could double check this right here. PIM. Okay, so now it has been changed to a read only file. Here is the command to connect to your VM. Let's take this one. Our key path is actually right here. I'll just type those in capital where we can just quickly auto complete. Yeah, I think this would be, we're going to go. Yes. It's been added. Yes. So what do we have? So there is a whole pile of instructions here. And basically most of these end user license agreements here was, you know, you can't decompile this. You can't really use this for illegal activities, which I'm not. And, uh, and yeah, if you don't purchase it, Basically, you're completely on your own, and that's fine with me. So yes, so we have a couple of configurations here uh, that we have to do uh, when we first set this up. I'm acting as if I actually know all this. I'm learning this kind of as I go, just so you know. <laughs> and there's free trials for Azure, AWS, etc. So yeah, use whichever one you want, and if you don't want to use any of those, that's fine too. Will this be the primary access server? It is. So specify the network interface and IP address. Port, we definitely want 943. TCP, 443, which is good. We know that one. And then another yes. Local authentication. Another yes here. Uh, do you wish to log in to the open as open VPN? We're going to go yes to that. Activation key. Uh, we don't have one, so magic is happening. There is now important information that we need to under, or we need to write down. So during normal operation can be accessed via these commands. Okay, great exit here. So let's come over and let's take the, uh, admin portal here. Let's take this one. 
we're going to go in, advance, accept the risk and continue. Cool. And so now we have an admin login. Uh, we'll swing back over into our downloads folder here. We're going to connect again with the Azure user. Let's run it again with sudo. Okay. We now have a password for OpenVPN. So let's try it now. Let's exit out. We're going to go open VPN. We're going to punch in the password. Woohoo! I am going to save this one just simply because I probably won't remember it after this video is over. <laughs> I think this, this may be where we, we are going to be spending most of our time with now. Now we are in an activation manager and uh, this says right here, you get two, you get two for free, which is all we'll ever need here. I think we get like one or two users here. OpenVPN is the admin here. So what I'd probably want to do is I probably want to create another one. Again, I think I'll save that for another time. So let's log out. Now, other URL that it provided was this one right here. So uh, the same thing, except for it does not have admin. So here is our user login. So let's see, user login and let's sign in. Let's see what we have now pretty good spot here. So it says open VPN connect recommended for your device. Okay. So we definitely want Linux user locked profile and yes. And so here we go. My real public address. Let's paste this in. So we got open VPN dash dash config client dot OVPN. So let's try it. Enter auth username. We're going to go ahead and we're going to rock in our open uh, VPN. And now we need a password. Uh, I'm going to punch in the password here. Initialization sequence completed. And let's do a return again. My IP is this number. My public IPv6 is not detected. Location, Redmond. So let's go uh, my IP information. We have, it just knows what state that we're in, what corporation, a host name here. And so for us, this is really just staying anonymous. So like before, uh, when we first went in here, you would have seen my, my IP address, my public IP address. You can get a whole bunch of uh, information on uh, somebody by, based off of their IP address. Let's go into the admin here. Uh, and then what we can see here is it says allowed VPN connections. You get two. Uh, and it's saying, hey, there is one person that's already using uh, this VPN. And then when you click on it, it obviously gives you the real information. So thank you so very much for coming in again. I greatly appreciate it. If you've got any other questions, always feel free to leave them over there on our Discord channel uh, too.